Okay, so there's the mixer. I worked on two of the channels tonight and uh, got panning. There's just no way you're going to be able to hear any panning. I'm, I, I've worked on it. It took me a long time to figure out if I even got it right, but, uh, but I'm going to settle with what I have. And it, it sounds stereo enough. It is going through these uh, pair of stereo jacks. Got more jacks on the way, so there are some uh, more stuff to do, that's for sure. It's uh, in its pre preliminary stage right now. and But channels 1 and 2 have uh, these pan pots, if you can call them that. And that one's way over here. and So it's a wiry mess, but it's just going to have to uh, do for now. I do want... Uh, channel 7 and 8 to be able to have this function as well. So it's going to take some time to uh, put it all together and then i got to figure out what enclosure I want it to go in. So let's want to see what's, you know, what the thing looks like and all that. Uh, I've done tons of videos on it already. There's the ADAT display in that. It is uh, going through three channels. I've got one, two, and four happening right now. And that was just a little uh, ditty I had uh, put together. Okay, here's an update. One more channel to go. I got to wait on the jack, though. Should be here in a couple of days. And uh, uh, it has turned into a wiry mess. A lot of resistors. No capacitors, uh, except for two input capacitors on the transistors. And basically it sounds great. We'll flip the switch here and this blue light should come on just to make sure that you I'm not making up stories here and there it is so when that blue lights on it's playing and I've already panned it and got a good uh, sound so anyway I'm gonna step into the center of the room and see if you can make any difference Okay, getting there, and today I added uh, the eighth channel, so now I got seven and eight channels uh, done, completed. I've got to do uh, channel four, I got to add the jack, I got my jacks, and just um, just some loose ends basically, but it's um, shaping up to be a eight channel mixer. And with that, they will listen to something. But I got independent volumes on these things. Uh, channels 1, 2, 7, and 8 do have the panning pots now. And uh, I've done some demo with all the sounds and all that stuff. But anyway, just wanted to get a look at it. And um, show the show the procedures as they're being done. Okay, so the last video basically just said I had some loose ends to do. I uh, put the jacks. They're just temporary for now because I've got to start drilling on this enclosure. So this will be the last video before we start to. Get it in this um, enclosure over here. I, I toyed today with going with a stereo jack. It does work, but it's very uh, faint. You can't hear it. So you'd have to build some sort of uh, preamp to make that work. Although there's two uh, transistors on this thing. But let's just zoom in and take a look at what's going on here. So there's, you know, transistor one. That's going to feed out to line one. It's supposed to be transistor two, and it feeds out to another line. So I got basically two lines that are, you know, going to go to maybe a CD recorder or whatever it is that I want to. 
I basically, I wanted this thing just so I could monitor, so that I could record, and also not have to spend, you know, two hundred to two hundred dollars plus, whatever, you know, to get a mixer to to just do all that. So I saved the money. And that's basically how it all came about. And but it's a eight channel mixer. And, you know, it feeds back to the ADAT there or feeds into this thing and then out through to an amp. And it is running through one amp on this side of the room and another amp on the other side of the room. Just wanted to make that clear. Anyway, that's what it looks like. And uh, this enclosure, already been down this road. I'm using a 1590DD. Let me see if I can get that in the view as well. And that's the um, enclosure I think I'm going to settle on. And the way I'm going to do this is uh, turn it like that. Inputs will be down through here. Four, four of them. Four of them on that side. So it should be plenty of room to as I open it up. We can look in there. Plenty of room. Got to watch those ribs. So, you know, we got to make sure that's right. And uh, just wanted to document all this stuff. And the potentiometers will be, uh, you know, I just got to kind of map it out, the face of this, whatever it is I'm going to do. But there's going to be a total of eight volume pots on the face of this. And then it's going to be another four pots, which are the pans. And I'm just going to keep them the way it is. And I don't think it really makes any difference, but... That's a total of uh, 12 potentiometers that go on the, on the face of that. And then I got the two output jacks right here, and it'll be on, uh, you know, whatever side that goes to. So so that's a lot of, a lot of drilling to do. And I wanted to kind of start making a dent on that. I kind of left these as uh, the alligator clips because, you know, I mean, that's just going to be a bunch of assembly when I try to face going into that box.